Hey guys, it's me Stormy and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of June 18th. And let me just tell you guys, I'm so pumped about this week because we're starting summer. As you can see, I'm getting into it. We're going for a hike after I record. I'm just so excited for a new season, a change of pace. A cha I just, it's going to be good. Now also this week, you guys, we have got the 2019 yearly birthday appointments going on sale now these book out a year in advance last year when i put them up all 12 signs were booked out for 2018 in a week so when i put this out down there by the time you see this link you want to grab your spot if you want the birthday appointment you know for this next week so make sure that you grab that okay now what is going on up in our heavens well this is a really we got a little bit of everything happening this week so we've got first of all the first day of summer the summer solstice is happening that's phenomenal we've got some oppositions we've got neptune taking a retrograde there's some trines in the mix so lots going on this week let's talk about that so first and foremost neptune is kicking off everything this week it's going retrograde monday june 18th and will be retrograde all the way until november now when neptune is retrograde we re-look through because remember, retrograde means to re. So we're going to re-look through things that are in the quieter sectors of our lives. Old hurts, old harms. Where do we need closure? We're going to look at um, sometimes the things that we're looking at are the yuckies, right? Things that are unpleasant. It's like, ugh, I'd really rather not go back over that. But we're going back over it with a purpose, with the time to let it go, to shed it. I'm telling you, if you've got things going on in your relationships that are not exactly on par depending on where Neptune falls for you this will be a phenomenal time to go back over those things as well now just nationally because remember Neptune is an outer planet so we're going to look at things nationally globally as well so some things we're going to look over are privacy right privacy comes from that neptune 12th house kind of energy so privacy how do you keep your privacy we've got all this technological stuff going on is your data really private right i'm from colorado so we have weed over here like marijuana is a thing over here i do not partake by the way um <laughs> so all over all over the united states i think we're going to have conversations about um, do we legalize marijuana? Things like that. All of these things that fall in there are going to become conversations that we're going to be able to have. Now, we've got midweek. We've got Mercury making two different connections. First, it's going to make this beautiful trine connection to Jupiter, and then it's going to make a trine connection to Neptune. So what this does is it definitely puts communication of all of these things I've already talked about on the table and Jupiter wants to expand right he's expanding information he's expanding conversation but he's also bringing a grand sense of wisdom and truth and exploration to the table so this is a wonderful set of trines to have with us while we are looking at retrograde energy because we're looking back for a reason right we're looking back over these things because there's work to be done so we've got to look over it so that we don't take our past into our future that's both globally and personally as well. Now, I really feel like the ta-da of the week happens to be on Thursday, June 21st when we have summer solstice. We have summer solstice because the sun is moving into Cancer. It's the longest day of the year. And let me just tell you, for me, some of the things that we do in my house, in my home, and the way that my mind works when we get to this point of the year is that I want to do things like, first of all, cancer rules over the breasts, right? So I'm telling you, if you haven't done a breast exam, if you haven't done any of those things, this is a phenomenal time to get those things done. But basically for me, what happens is I want to shift into a very nurturing time. I want to be with my tribe of people. I want to get outside. I want to hug. I want to barbecue. I want to just have my squad and my family around me, whether that's actual family, people I chose. Um, my eldest daughter right now is really getting into tracing our genealogy. So she's our little tree maker right now. So, you know, this is a wonderful time for that. Cancer rules our roots, right? Our home, our, our DNA, our genetics, all of these things. So it's a wonderful time to investigate those things as well. So 
At the same time, on the 21st, we've got Venus and Mars reaching their annual opposition. Now, when Venus and Mars go into opposition with each other, they love each other, but they're just, you know, they're at, they're at odds at the moment. <laughs> So one of the things that it can do is it can bring a little bit of difficulty because one, it can actually make us kind of competitive, right? Venus is like, well, I will show you. And Mars is like, oh, okay. I really like when you want to show me, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it could be a little bit competitive. So it can increase, um, some difficulties between maybe you and another person and opposition is always relational. Remember that. Um, so it can increase difficulties between you and another person can make something hard, make it seem tense. Here we are, it's summertime, we want to be around all these people, but you may find a little competition maybe even, right? Now, as we move towards the weekend and we get to um, Saturday, June 23rd, we've also got Mercury making, um, taking an opposition to Pluto. This is an interesting energy as well because Pluto is deep and Mercury wants to communicate at a depth right? So this could be like, we're saying the things that are deep, right? We're talking about the things that are deep. We are talking about the really intimate things. We are making decisions around intimate things. Now this can be very scary because it's an opposition energy, but maybe it's something you've been needing to talk about with another person, or it's a conversation you've been needing to have in some area of your life. At the same time, what this energy can do is it can be where somebody says something or you say something purposefully hurtful and I know I don't want to think of any of you guys being like that but sometimes we just let something come out of our mouth because we've had something else we've needed to um, deal with so I'm telling you um, in your life in your world especially I would say if you're dealing with anything that has to do with banking or or taxes or something like that this week this is a time where someone on some way could be um, they could be using they could be trying to use some intimidation tactic or something like that with you don't go for the BS get your information and do you okay follow the truth follow your information follow the law if that's what you need to but this is a timing with that energy through the weekend where if that happens if something painful something hurtful something intimidating comes out use a different tactic to get around it okay better energy comes just days away i promise all right so i think it's gonna be a good week happy summer happy booking your birthday appointment happy new season because i know many of us have definitely been waiting for that and not that any anything like energy is speeding up or picking up or anything like that but we definitely get to let our shoulders out you know get a little sunshine depending on where you're at in the world and just enjoy a new flow no matter where you're at all right guys like this video comment share subscribe and i will see you in a week i love you bye